Hello again everyone. I'm working on a video where I'll be customizing this Hudson Hornet. I really like this model, however the Hornet comes with a gold base, and my custom won't look so good with a gold base, so I'm going to change it back to silver. Mattel really likes to use these colored chromes on different models, especially fantasy models, and this process will work on all the different colors that they produce. Normally when I do this to a base, I remove the wheels and axles. This is not necessary, but it does make cleaning the base a little easier, so I'll use some sprue cutters to clip this small piece of plastic that holds the axle in place. To run this process, you'll only need a few things. A small bowl that the base you are working on will fit in, a toothbrush to agitate the surface of the base, and some nail polish remover. Or more specifically, you need non-acetone nail polish remover. Using acetone on this plastic base could destroy it, so be sure you get the non-acetone version. You can buy this at most drugstores and beauty supply stores. Place the base in the container and then pour the nail polish remover on top. Use the toothbrush to scrub down the base. After a few seconds of scrubbing, you will notice that the color begins to disappear and the base starts to turn back to silver. This is because all the colored chrome starts as silver and then they paint the transparent color over the top. So all I am doing is removing the transparent paint with a solvent that won't attack the vacuum metalized layer below. Other solvents will do this too. However, I chose this nail polish remover as it's safe to touch and easy to get for most people. Once you're done scrubbing and have all the color removed, then wash the base with soap and water and set aside to dry. I don't throw out the used nail polish remover, instead I pour it back into the container to use again later. So as you can see the process is very simple and quick. Once the part is dry, you can put it back onto the car and see how it looks with a regular chrome look. Well this has been a really short video, but I hope it's been helpful. You will be seeing this Hudson Horton again in a few days, so be sure to check back. Thanks again for watching, catch you guys next time.